So, if you're watching this, I'm going to assume that you know who I am. Um, but if you don't, my name is Megan Bostic, and I'm an aspiring writer. I was going to do one of my normally quirky videos for this, but I changed my mind because um, I thought this video would have more of a heartwarming ending, um, but instead it ended in tragedy like last year, and I didn't think anybody wanted to see what happened last year happen again. So I decided to go a different route. Now, if you want to see what I filmed, which was basically my day of waiting and finding out that I didn't make the cut in a &A, well, here's a quick take on it. I actually thought I had a chance to get into the contest this year. Um, I think my writing is, is good. I think it stands up for itself. Um, there may be problems with the story. It's very edgy and right off the bat there's sexual content and profanity and you know it, it's subjective and I know that probably you as writers who have submitted queries get tired of hearing that phrase, that it's subjective, but the truth of the matter is that it is. Um, and it may take a hundred no's to find that one person who's drawn to your work and who believes in your writing. And the contest is the same way. I mean, maybe I got somebody who doesn't like edgy YA, maybe somebody who doesn't think teens should be reading that kind of content. Uh, in my opinion, kids are exposed to that stuff every day at school. They're exposed to violence, they're exposed to sex, they're exposed to drugs, they're exposed to violence. Why would I want to shield my kids from that? But not everybody believes what I believe in, and, and that's okay. Um, the book needs work if I even want to do anything with it, which I may not. So that is something I'll just have to decide later. That said, uh, I thank all of you for the support you've given me and for those of you that believe in me and believe in my writing. And I'm not going to give up ever on the writing itself. Um, I've got things, I've got things going on. I'm not saying what those things are, but you may see me in print. Maybe someday. Maybe not soon, but maybe someday. And uh, I have been writing a lot. I've been working on a, a novel <coughs> titled Cheesy, which um, a lot of people that have read parts of it said that it's my best work I've ever done. So that's good. Um, I'm probably going to revise Dina Powers, and I'm probably going to revise... Uh, lockdown and I'm probably going to revise what gets you in and I may turn that into a teen novel. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I, I just want to tell you when you get downhearted in this business you need to, um, if you feel like you've been knocked down, you have to get back up. Uh, otherwise you're not going to go anywhere. It'll be like treading water. So I guess what I'm saying is never give up keep plugging away, especially in this business. It's, it's so hard to break through. Um, <clears throat> believe in yourself. Find a good support system, whether it be your spouse, your family, your friends. Uh, find a writing group. Um, I have done that recently and it's been very valuable, I think, to my writing. Um, and just never stop. Just keep writing because one of your books is going to be the one.